Greetings everybody. Greetings from Rubber and myself. Here we are here. Rubber and I are just going out for a bit of a gathering mission. Oh, and a walk for you, of course. And we're just going off looking for some puha. Because I've been hungry for a bit of a boil up lately. And particularly a puha boil up. So we're out here at one of my spots. And we are going to go for a bit of a gather. We're going to see what we can find. As you can see, it is a grey old day today. Grey and cold and wintry day. So it is a perfect time for a boil up. And Puha is in season now, or starting to get in season where I am here. So we thought we'd go out for a bit of a gather and we can see, and we will see what we can come across. A bit of a puha gather and a bit of a tasty, hearty, winter warming puha boil up for tea tonight. So stick around and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Right, let's start looking. Robert, I'll follow you until you get us lost and then you can follow me, okay? Can you see any? Can you see any? Oh, look at that. There's two nice pieces here, maybe four pieces in here. So we'll cut that off here, look. Ooh, that's the, it's probably the best tasting puha, this stuff here, that milky stuff, see? It's going to be so sweet. Another one over here. We'll just use our fingers on that one because it's so soft. Oh, we can't use our fingers. I could just, I'm going to try and cut it with the camera. Uh, we can, Oh, yeah, another nice piece. And yeah, we'll get this one here too. Just gotta watch out for the blackberry. So there you go, there's like three nice pieces in a really short time. Right, look at that. Rubber, I reckon you like puha, don't you? Let's go, what? Who, me, what? But that is nice puha. See that all? Now you get a few of those in your bag and you don't need many because this stuff here will fill the pot up nicely. More. There's three pieces there, look. One, two, three. So if you can just do that to it, your fingers you know it's going to be sweet if you've got to cut it oh it's see a piece there we will throw that away we'll get it to the manu if you find pieces that are too stringy well then you're going to have stringy board up it's best to pick stuff that's fresh as if you can break it with your fingers it's a good sign. And this is way better puha than having it and getting it from the sand dune. See it's nice and wet too, look. Have a hey, bit of a poo mission. Hmm. 
<laughs> There's a nice little handful of puha there. One little spot. One little spot they got all this. Awesome. Look what I just come across there, my friends. Some delicious puha there, look. There's a flat one there. And also at the back here, we got some of that prickly puha, teal teal. All growing together. So we're going to pick that, there's a piece over there, and it's also more prickly puha here. Just growing in the, in the roadside. That's a nice piece of puha we got right there. Look at that big piece. You can also in the field just pull off the old dead leaves, brown leaves, pull them off, save doing it when you get home. And just grab this teal teal now. It's under here. Here we go, teal teal, and let's put another one here too. Where is that one going? Oh, so. and bit of puha here. Nice combination of some teal teal and some ordinary puha. We've found it all this in one little spot which is nice when you're trying to gather puha and you find a lot in one area. But check this out, we've got some very nice puha here. And see the flat puha as you can see there. It's a flat one, you've got that one there that's growing up tall. And then you have the, the teal teal, or the prickly puha, that one there. So it's going to be in a combination of our puha boil up. And before we go, I just found another piece just over here. And we'll grab no, we that one here for later. There you go. There's our there's some more puha for our kai tonight. And check how full that bag is. Right, let's carry on, over. So quiet, but. I feel like this it's quiet but it's not quiet, you know what I mean? Yeah, anyway. Eerie, eerie. Got some some more beautiful bits of puha. Look at this stuff my friends. Some lovely prickly puha there and some nice other pieces in here. Yeah, this is a nice area. This is this is some good puha in here. Some there as well, a little piece there. So I'm just going to grab this because it is some nice prickly puha. You've got to make sure you get down as low as you can without getting into the dirt. So you, so you can pull off these dead pieces and pieces have got like bugs on them and stuff, and, and you can get for the nice little. The puha there is a nice piece right over here as well. Get down nice and low and check that out. It's a nice piece of prickly puha. Mm. 
Got a nice piece there. There's a nice piece of ordinary puha there. That's the the longer version. The nice big handful from that one little area and again a nice combination of different puha that one little handful was just from one little area growing amongst the weeds so if I didn't pick it I don't think anybody else would have picked it people who live here don't pick puha well, most of them 99% 99.9% .9 wouldn't pick puha around here So more for us There you go Right And there's one more piece just over here I'm going to grab with my fingers And here we are Sweet <laughs> Pretty much filled up a whole bag. And check this out, that's quite a bit there, isn't it? It's not bad from that one little area. We're gonna squash it into our bag and we've had a very successful day. Close to home, not far to travel to get this feed. I just found a nice fat piece there, we're gonna cut that off. See, right at the base there, grown in some gravel. This piece, a nice flat piece of puha. Until we get it, it shall go. Welcome back to the cooking sequence of this show. Today's episode, the old puha boil up. I have the water on. On the boil now, that's going to be for our meat once I sear the meat. We've got our pork chops here, and it is that cold that my pork chops, I took them out of the freezer two days ago, and they are still frozen. Been on the bench for two days. That's how cold it is today here in Whakatane. Your pork chops haven't even defrosted before I sear them. So I'll be searing frozen pork chops. True story that one. True story. So we were going to be searing pork chops, frozen ones, before we put them into the pot of water. Here we go. The searing process is beginning. Last night I cooked up a delicious roast veggies in the oven. Oh, check out that. Some bacon, pork and puha sausages. Yes, I said the word sausages rather. See? Pumpkin, kumara and some real wine. So here we have the leftovers of last night's tea. We're going to have that as our side dish with our pork and puha. Our pork chops have been seared. Now they're just in the pot there, you're gonna boil it for an hour or so. Check that there, 
so a nice puha in there. Well, I didn't know I got so much. Right, I'm just going to add some water to the to the old sink here, and you guys know the story. I'm going to just going to clean it up a little bit, add our water, and we're just going to for you guys that watch a lot of my boil up videos, you know how we just clean our watercress and our puha, get all the bits of grass out and stuff, and cut off the ends, and just clean it up and get it ready for the pot. I can tell you that this one here, this meal tonight is going to be one of those very special meals, those once in a blue moon that I very really have these days. It's going to be one of those sort of feasts, very really tasty feasts. See, a bit of dirt in there already. So we'll clean that, give it a bit of a clean up and then we'll get back to you guys when we're ready to add to the pot, which is just over here. We'll show you that. There we go. So there's our dirty water after our double clean with the water. Pardon? Now I'm talking to the camera. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no. And so this is our puha all cleaned. There's a few scraps in here, these are like the ends and stuff. I just break the ends off. So it's our puha there. And we can give it another rinse in the water. And then that's going to be ready to put in the pot soon. As we head over to here. Been going for probably 45 minutes now. And you can see it's looking very nice. Looking very tasty indeed. That lovely broth. Let's have a look at that. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Those pork chops are looking pretty nice. It's been about an hour and a half or so cooking there and we've got a lovely broth as you can see. It's going to be a perfect broth at El Puja, which we'll grab right now. So there you go, there is our puha on top of our pork. Let that boil away until our puha is ready. It does feel really strange that uh, I'm not putting on sausages, potatoes and pumpkin and stuff, but I think that when this is cooked and we add our vegetables as a side dish, I think it's going to be very tasty, especially with the bacon as well, we've got in our leftover roast veggies, bacon and some of that pork and puha sausages I think it's going to be very nice so half past five we've just put on our puha so be another maybe 30 minutes to cook up from me. Wow so our boil up is ready come and check this out it is ready here we have it I don't want to go too close because otherwise it's going to fog up the old lens but it smells really nice so we've got our pork down here somewhere here it is our pork chops are just falling apart as you would expect them to do. Let's look at that, see? So we'll get some of that out. We have a bit of a taste test. The pork puha and we'll get those potatoes, oh the pumpkin and kumara 
bacon and sausages out of the fridge. We'll heat up a little bowl full. Then we'll have a taste test, shall we? And we're just gonna go and add some watercress on here and some pork. And let's just try that. It's gonna be very tasty. Take that off. What we can find, which happens to be that piece of pork there. to be stuck with a piece of pork fat for some strange reason. I don't know why that's don't know why that's happening like that for, but there we have it, there's our board up tonight. That is something different, man, that looks really nice. What do you guys think about that? Some of that. Doesn't that look delicious? Sausages there, a bit of bacon there, some yummy pork, delicious. Time for a taste test. Kai's ready. That out. Delicious pork vegetable there first. Mm. Mm. That pork is first class. We've got the greens. Picked today and eaten today. Bit of bacon with our puha, shall we? See how that goes. Be a first for me, puha and bacon. Well, apart from bacon bones, I suppose. Mmm. So there you guys go. Hope you enjoyed this little gather and cook tonight. And thank you for watching. I hope this one here made you hungry because it definitely is a very tasty taste test. Mmm. So there you go. Let's have a Nice little taste test for you. Mm. That is really nice. That is probably one of my favourite board ups ever, this one. Be in my top 10, that's for sure. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you all in the next video. We'll take it easy out there and we'll catch you later. So here we have day two of our beautiful tasty Puha board up. Lovely puha there, second day boiled with some delicious pork chop. There's a little wee bit of pork henu, pork fat there, and on the other side there, a bit of sauce over. Then we've got some tasty pork and watercress sausages from Bed Brothers. Pork and watercress sausages with puha. Now that'll be a first. It doesn't get any better than that.